Thank you very much, Alan. Our top story for you this morning, Tulsa Public Schools voting to comply with a state law and give scholarships to special needs students. However, there is a very big catch to this. News on 6 reporter Jamie McGriff is live at the Education Service Center and has more on the compromise. Jamie? Good morning. This morning I'm speaking with Robert Burton Sr., who is the TPS Chief of Staff, to uh, learn more about exactly uh, what happened during last night's meeting. And I understand there were only six uh, special needs students that were um, awarded the scholarship money, correct? That is correct. I think the board is very concerned that we had uh, six families to apply for those scholarships in good faith. Uh, uh, prior to this uh, situation that we're in right now. And so they just put any, any applications uh, that were filed uh, prior to or home by uh, October 18th, the board decided to go ahead and process. Do we know any kind of figures cost-wise as far as how much this will cost the school district just for the six? No, I can't give you exact figures, but if you're talking only about anywhere from from six to fifteen scholarships that's not going to have much of a financial impact on the district at all now when you start getting into the hundreds or two hundreds if that should occur now we have a, a real serious concern now some people are going to say well you know i tried to apply and even though it was just too late and some may think that this is unfair and what is the what do you think the school district's view on this will be well our response is you have to draw the line somewhere whether it's going to be the 18th, the 19th, or the 20th, and the board chose the 18th. And here again, you, the board is, is concerned about the welfare of those families. Mm -hmm. And here again, getting back to what I said earlier, those parents acted in good faith in filing those applications. So we strongly feel that we have an obligation to go ahead and process, process those. Do you think that there could be more that could be accepted in the near future, even with this being taken to court? Well, it... Um, depends. I mean, you, you never know. Uh, parents have the right to make a choice whether or not it's uh, uh, public education, private education, charter schools. It doesn't matter. Uh, so it's just very difficult to tell. Uh, we believe in Tulsa Public Schools that we're providing an outstanding education for the boys and girls attending school in our district, including the special education arena. So, so we stand ready to uh, continue to provide that kind of quality education for the boys and girls of our district. And at the same time, we're very concerned that the school district uh, cannot be all things to, uh, that the public school arena cannot be all things to all people. So if people want to make a choice to do something else, and that is legally, uh, uh, um, is, and that's a le legally binding kind of an issue, mm -hmm. then certainly uh, they have the right to do that. But it's not, it's not whether or not we're following the law. In, in this regard, it's it's the law. It's not the law versus constitutionality. It's not one versus the other, but it's a combination of the two. Yes, we want to follow the law, but we want to also follow the Oklahoma Constitution as well. All right, Robert Burton, Sr., thank you so much for joining us this morning. So uh, there you have it, uh, some views coming from a representative from Tulsa Public Schools about this particular issue. Reporting live in Tulsa, Jamie McGriff, the News on 